there is a star shaped gap in the industry and someone needs to take responsibility and fill it up immediately. So the summertime is very important in K-pop. Well, in fact, it's very important for every music industry. It makes legends. It makes or breaks a group, honestly. You know you're a solid group when you're able to produce summer bangers alongside your regular comebacks. I think what that what really sets apart your regular run-of-the-mill groups from the ones that'll be remembered, well, they'll be remembered for a while, that is, is a staple summer comeback. And some groups make the summertime their own, such as the star being synonymous with the summer season. And I really need another group to take up that torch. I need my summer queens back, okay? So here's my own opinion and on back and what I want to see in the future. Companies, feel free to steal. I promise I'll look the other way. I'll turn the other cheek. Just give me something good this summer. Afrobeats summer or Afrobeats concept. Whether I want it or not, Afrobeats is coming. There are probably multiple groups that are going to have their summer comebacks using Afrobeats. Chasing the high from La Sarah from Smarter, which is already chasing the high from Tyla's global success. Well-earned success. However, I do believe an Afrobeat concept would be a great kickoff to the summer season if done right. So far, I haven't been impressed with the Afrobeats. I don't know if it's the force accents. It's the force accents that are killing the mood. But something about it feels more artificial than most K-pop comeback. I need at least the illusion of authenticity that there's it's just lacking so far. I don't want a pure Afrobeats concept, but rather to adopt elements of Afrobeats to the group or soloist already established style for a more natural feel. I think that would make for a really fun blend, a really refreshing blend that is. So for example, of Afrobeats, which I think K-pop groups should definitely be inspired from, not Steel, is obviously Tyla. I mean, I'm, they're probably already, they probably already have her new album copied and pasted onto their own. And you know, her songs Jump, Water, or True For There. There's also Amari and Angels in Tibet that went viral in, in Korea, which I know companies are going crazy for. But yeah, anything from the Found Baby album would be a great inspiration. Or my personal favorite, Aya Nakamura and her songs Baby, especially Baby, and her mega hit Jeja, as well as Kopon. And knowing that she's going to be opening for the Olympics, she's already going to get a boost and also her sound. So if I was a company, I would definitely be looking out for that. Uh, for the aesthetics though, I definitely need a tropical vibe to it. Very Mako Mermaids inspires, if, everyone, if anyone knows, you know the aesthetics, like the wet clothes, the beachy attire, and the florals. That's my vision for the Afrobeats concept. Very beachy, with a lot of images of sea creatures and palm trees, just screaming at you to get in the water. I'm thinking a mix of Sistar's I Swear music video with Shiny's View music video, but make it 10 times more tropical. Get them on a surfboard or something, cutting open a coconut, anything. Just make it scream beach. The groups I want to see attempt this genre, even though I do think we're going to see multiple groups attempt this genre, but still, the groups I personally would like to see do this concept would be more mature groups, I guess. A more senior group, that is. Not because I think the genre is inherently mature, but because the examples I use are more on the central side, and I wouldn't feel comfortable giving it to groups with minors in them. So even though as once, I would like to see twice keep a cohesive style instead of jumping into a next trend, as I think they're, they are losing the plot a bit. As a fan of music and good performances, I think they would do great in this type of concept. At least it would be very fun. For boy groups, I can see a group like Seventeen doing this type of concept justice. I would also like to see them embrace a summer concept full-heartedly. If I had to give it to a newer group, I think I would give it to Everglow. I mean, I think they're already a five-year-old group, so calling them new seems a bit disingenuous, but they're newer, I guess. I think the concept would suit them. I'd be more worried about the music quality, but if they execute it well, it could be a real, really good addition to their discography already. It's just whoever was in charge of Pirate cannot be involved in this comeback. Absolutely not. But other than that, I think they could pull this off. For my next comeback idea would be a more reggaeton concept. Uh, I feel like it's the perfect song to release midsummer or a little bit earlier so people can really chew on it before the middle of summer arrives. So outside of K-pop, the genre I listen to the most is probably Latin music, specifically Latin trap, but ignore that. I think reggaeton would be great for the summer. It's upbeat rhythmic music that combined that if combined with popular trends in K-pop would bring a freshness that would definitely suit the summer and definitely an, a positive addition. I mean, we did see the trend of reggaeton music pop up during La Seraphim's Anti-Fragile and BB's um, Vengeance song, but 
The trend was so short-lived. There was no time for trend fatigue. All it did was leave with trend desperation. Like, I want more, and a lot more at that. We already saw how successful Anti-Fragile was, and while I'm not asking for other groups and companies to copy it, I do think they should be heavily inspired by it. Well, not heavily inspired, but you get what I mean. I would prefer a stronger emphasis on the beat and the danceability of the song. It needs to give the vibe that you play it at a party or at a club and have everyone hyped and wanting to get on the dance floor, else it won't succeed in leaving a lasting mark on the K-pop scene. For inspiration, there's Rosalia, which I'm pretty sure heavily inspired Les Seraphim's comeback, but also I think we can look at other artists who have a lot, have more of a vibe that I'm looking for my summer hits, you know? I love Rosalia Vo. I like her last album, Motomami was one of my favorites but she's not giving the summer that i imagine or i dream of you know so for artists carol g has so many songs we can take inspiration from especially from her album manana sera bonito especially the bichota season version like okidoki i need a copy cat of that song immediately i know i said we shouldn't copy but i make an exception or un noche, en, un noche in medellin sorry i don't speak spanish i speak portuguese so if i if i sound weird it's because of that or something like Watati, which is very fun and very flirty. Even though I know we're critiquing the song, I know some people were critiquing, not me, but some people were critiquing the song for being boring, which of all things to call it boring, I don't see it. But okay, we're all allowed to have different opinions, I guess. But it's just so much fun, and I can definitely see some groups embracing this type of style. Can you just tell that I love her so much, and I'm so sad I missed her concert? For the boys, I take inspiration from Bad Bunny. Obviously, gotta put a Puerto Rican if I'm talking about reggaeton. Something like Mr. October or Titi Mi Pregunta because that's the perfect summer song. Obviously different lyrics, but with that style, like it just encapsulates the vibes of summer perfectly. For the concept itself, it definitely has to be something maximalistic. I'm thinking of the Fruchiger Aero aesthetic. I'm going to put it up because I don't think I pronounced that correctly. It's an early 2000s aesthetic that was that hasn't been properly utilized to its maximum potential in my personal opinion. I need saturated colors and dated web designs. I'm thinking of Talk That Talk from Twice, but more maximalist like, maximalist, like XG's concept. A bit kitschy, not in the I've sense, but in the over-the-top sense, and reminiscence of the 2000s futuristic vibe. Post Y2K futurism, that is. Like very much what you saw in the 2000, in 2004 to 2010, you know, Nintendo's Wii or the old Apple like stores kind of vibe. I think for groups that I'd give this to, definitely first thought was Kiss of Life, since they already are heavily inspired by the 2000s. I mean, they look like brat stalls every time I see them. So giving them another flavor of an, a 2000s aesthetic would not break with their con with their concept. It would actually be very cohesive. Uh, another group would be Espa, and I know they already have the kind of con of this concept of better things, but I would like to see them do this concept again, but this time with a good song. No offense to any of the people, which I know is a lot of you, but I did not enjoy their last summer song. I like spicy, but definitely not better things. And I need to see a good summer concept executed by Espa. But considering they have a comeback soon that is more based on their lore, I know it won't be this year, unfortunately. And for boy group, I would give this to 80s. I think they're such a high energy group that they could pull off the genre and concept really well. I, I love their music videos already, so I think this would be a really fun like concept change for them. I also think it'd be a lot of fun for them and their fans. But I do think their fans would go rabbit over this type of concept, so I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. Otherwise, it's going to be a success. I know it. So for my last concept or comeback idea would be a Bossa Nova concept. So I've already talked about my love for Bossa Nova in my unpopular opinions video, but I do think it's a perfect genre for the summer. I mean, not to show my bias, but what's more summer than a tropical vibe? And who does tropical better than Brazil? I think this more laid back, chill type of song would suit a lot of groups well. And if not for their title track, because it is a bit slow, it definitely would suit a B-side for a summer concept album. It would complement any of the other two um, genre concepts. I also believe it would be a great addition to the end of the summer or late summer vibes, kind of reeling back the intensity of the last two concepts and easing up to an autumn feel. A bit more melancholic and nostalgic, but still very joyful and optimistic ultimately like reflecting on the memories made throughout summer. I do think we're seeing a rise in jazz music making a mark on K-pop and also more subdued sound, so I don't think it would be that much of a risk to have a bossa nova comeback, even if some call it boring elevator music. For inspiration, I definitely would choose Chico Burake, which is one of my favorite Brazilian artists. Not that you ask, but anyway, I would say he's more tropicalismo than bossa nova, but he has bossa nova songs, and a bit more like folk music, but still. 
He's got fun lyricism that I think would be great to adopt into K-pop, especially with playing around with the changing of language. Languages can add some much-needed cheekiness to the K-pop bilingual nature that I don't, which I don't believe gets taken advantage of enough. Because I think you could have a lot of fun with switching up the languages and having just fun lyricism, even if it isn't like super deep. I do think it could be. I do think they could do some really unique stuff with it. So songs like Shengchi Humiuchi, Juanwi Maria, or A Pesaje Vosé. So those are some of my favorite of his songs. Also, needs to take inspiration from one of the fathers of bossa nova himself, João Gilberto, quite literally a legend of the genre and Brazilian music in general. Songs like Bimbom, Chega de Saudade, and of course, Girl from Ipanema. Uh, don't ask me why I pronounced Ipanema like that. I have no idea. I guess I've been speaking English far too much. Um, I swear I know how to speak Portuguese. Um, yeah, um, sorry about that. That was gross. Which I have hoped some of you have heard before. I think his vibe gives a dreamy, nostalgic vibe that would would bring a nice end mood for the summer. Definitely can imagine a late night stargazing or reeling back from a party and just embracing the moment of peace before having to go back to school and work. Like just one last escape from the hustle and bustle of life. It would complete the vision I have for the summer of 2024. For the concept, I would imagine similar to the same concept for Afrobeats, but with a hazy filter. Uh, a bit more vintage or retro, whatever you want to call it, almost as if you're reminiscing of a past summer in a different era, a simpler one, where you were younger and your biggest responsibility was to have as much fun as you could before the sun sets. For the concept, the outfits, I was thinking a bit of lowcore. If anyone remembers that micro trend of last year or the year before, I don't actually remember when it was popular, but I kind of want it back because I do like the effortless style of it, very much minimal effort but maximum reward. I've already said I want to see this type of concept and sound from V, but I do think his music video for Layover kind of already fits his vibe. I just need him to sing some bossa nova now. Speaking of V, I think this genre would suit um, or this genre of music suits vocalists with unique tone first and foremost. So I definitely would like to see solo artists like Joy, Chu, and BB who also have pretty unique vocal tones try and attempt this type of genre because I think it would suit them really well. For groups, I would suggest or I think it would suit Formis Nine. So I doubt they would do a blowcore, but definitely the nostalgic dreamy beach for sure suits them, and I think would be really fun to see them try、uh, Bossa Nova. Another group that I think would kill this concept and come back would be Billy. I think I really want to see Billy do something similar so bad. I mean, I just love Billy, and I would love them to try one of my own favorite genres. So, and I, I yeah, I think they could do it. I think they would they would ace it. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to, for me to make, and I'm really glad I got to stick to my promise of making something more optimistic. Because if you saw my last video, you know it was a much deeper、uh, or much sadder video overall.、Um, I don't want to be ranting all the time as much as I love to rant. Don't get me wrong. So you'll probably see me complaining about something in the next video. But it's nice to do something other than just complain. Speaking about my last video, if anyone was worried about my left ear because I said I couldn't hear from it, I can hear from it now again. Thank God. But yeah, I hope you get amazing summer comebacks this season, even if it's not the way I would envision. Not every summer can be perfect.